What up, Metal Your Boy, Shark 360 from MetalSource.com, and here we go with another Problem Solved series, and today we're breaking down the Run and Gun playbook and the Bunch Tight End uh, formation. And we're gonna go ahead and break down the pistol, the play action fork. So play action fork is the first play. Now this person likes to run it a certain way, I like to run it a different way. And we're gonna keep breaking down his, uh, what you call it, his volumes. So I think he's like in volume 14 or 13, I don't even know, but anyways. I'm gonna keep breaking it down until my name disappears from the side. If not, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and break down every single formation, even your $99 guides for free. So uh, the more the people like it, the more I will expose uh, these people. You guys got other commentators you want me to expose? I'll go ahead and expose any commentator you guys may want. Uh, so here we go. Random play. He likes to run it against a random play, so you could uh, make uh, your reads here. He streaks the middle wide receiver and. Uh, Pretty much uh, put this guy on a flat. Now I'm gonna give you guys a tip. Make sure you got somebody tall right here in case you wanna use your catch deep. Uh, taller wide receiver will help you against a short safety. So make sure you have somebody tall at this position. So here we go, pretty much that's it, hike the ball. You're gonna wait for for some of these guys right there. Circle comes across uh, right there and gets wide open. But it, to me guys, this setup takes too long. This setup takes too long and it, I think you pretty much uh, would get sacked by the time uh, the play develops. So right here, we wanna make a read, nobody's open. Circle, I mean, circle was open there. Maybe I threw it a little bit too late. So I don't know what you guys think about this, man, uh, this play, but I really don't like it. The setup here, uh, right there, he gets open, man to man, so that red route gets open. That's pretty much the only read you got, uh, unless you go deep. So here we go. So deep right here, we're gonna go ahead and I think the flat is gonna be open. Nope, this time it's the deep route. Uh, there's nothing there, so. I really don't like the setup, guys. This is how he runs it, this is what he's selling you guys. And I don't really like the setup here. You can make your reach, uh, he, he says to make your reach from left to right. So, I'm trying to make the reach here. Nothing open, circles open, but this is too late. Too late. So. I'm gonna show you guys my adjustments, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and streak, put this guy there, and I will go ahead and, and slant in the tight end, or you could drag him. But it's better if you slant him in. I just get more yardage when you slant him in here. So I'm gonna hike the ball, and that allows us to, you know, get that block right there that we need, and the tight end is gonna come in underneath that red route. So this is my adjustment that I put in, that I've been had since forever. So. Uh, another thing I like to do, guys, I don't know, this guy just tells you to do this, guys, on his on his thing, just tells you to do that, and then just just pray that one of these guys get open. Look at this, nobody's fucking open until, it's too late, man. If somebody puts contains, or somebody's blitzing you, that shit's too late. So I, I think he should've gave you guys something better. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys, again, another of my adjustments here. So you don't have to streak this guy, but I'm gonna show you this one with a streak, uh, kind of like his setup, but a little bit better. So just in case you guys get any stuck. So you can put a flat there, streak there, and then you could slant in that tight end. Okay, just like I showed you on the other play. So as you guys can see there, this is what you're gonna see. And uh, you got a tight end with nice speed burst. You get the, the, the nice catch all the way for a touchdown. Another adjustment you can do that I like to do Okay, so you can put this guy in a flat route, leave this guy as is, and slant in this guy, okay? And make sure you block the running back. And you're gonna smart route triangle. When you smart route triangle, he's, his route's gonna be shorter, okay? So as soon as, you're gonna make a read on these two guys, or you're gonna make the same thing, the progression flat, this guy, and then this guy, okay? So if the linebacker, you're gonna read the middle linebacker, the linebacker pulls down, you're gonna throw it to Matthews. If the linebacker moves up, you're gonna throw it to Baldwin. So those are your two reads there. So here we go. Hike the ball right there. Look at that, he moves down. You throw it to Matthews, okay? So that's how I like to do it right here. Smart route triangle, flat route over here on the left. Block the running back. He moves down. You could throw it right here. He's man, man to man coverage. So those slants be man pretty good. So, you guys see here, this is what I like to do with this play. And I do this in the actual game, you can see it, man. I don't know, he's selling you guys $99 for 
product. He, he, I think he better have better adjustment and, uh, you know, where you could attack the field, the whole field. Uh, we're in man coverage, so basically the corner dust lands and the, this two stands gonna be man, but you're gonna have to read this one and, and then the, the tight end. Those probably those first two, they're gonna get open against this man coverage right here. So right there, look at that. So there you go. So let's see, we have a zone right now. Yeah, it looks like we have zone. Another thing you, uh, you could do, streak this guy and then put him in a fade route, flat route that guy, okay? And uh, let's go ahead and leave it like this. And then you can go ahead and throw the fade and go for it. For the catch, you could do that as well with the tight end. So you have the tight end and then you got Matthews. You can put him on a fade. I like to put him in a fade. Uh, problem Solved likes to put him on a streak. So you can put a double fade right here. Block the running back right there. Look at this. One on one with the safety and you get the catch. So that's what I like to do. So. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. I'm gonna do this problem solved series a little bit different, putting a little bit of what I would like to do compared to what he does. Uh, he does it really good on his games. So, I mean, but what he does sometimes doesn't work for everybody. So I'm giving you guys my my input on how to break, uh, breaking it down a little bit so it can work a lot better for you. So uh, until there, guys, it's your boy, Shocker 360 Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for more. Don't forget to subscribe down here below for more tips, more strategies, more schemes, more gameplays, more tournaments, and more giveaway prices. Later, it's your boy Shock360. Hit that like button. Don't forget, comment, and subscribe.